Hey everyone, it's Kaylee here with Microsurvey and in today's video, I'm going to show you the Microsurvey Field to Finish Advantage. So um, I'm going to show a data set that was picked up in the field using Field Genius and we're going to move that same data set across StarNet, do a least squared adjustment and then into Microsurvey CAD. And I'm also going to be just be highlighting some, um, some distinct advantages to this workflow um, as we move along in the video. So without further ado, here we go. All right, so the first thing I'm going to show you guys is the field genius component of this workflow. Um, I'm not going to actually go out in the field and collect the data, but I'm just going to show you in field genius what that data looks like. So this is the conventional data set. So we're going to do some conventional data and we're going to combine it with some GNSS data. So this is the total station shots. Um, you can see we have some line work that's been generated bunch of different points. Um, if we go into the point database, you can see that the northings, eastings, and elevations, just by looking at them, you can tell that those were assumed in the field. So now I want to show you the GPS data set. Let me just open it up here and you can see that there's just four nails here. When you open up the point database here, you can tell that these are UTM coordinates and proper elevations. So that's what everything looks like in Field Genius. Okay, so now we're going to bring those two data sets and combine them in StarNet and run an adjustment. So the first thing I want to do is set up my project options here. So you want to make sure that the correct coordinate system is set. So we are in the UTM zone 11. We want to make sure that the adjustment type is set to 3D because we are using um, three dimensional data. You want to set your units. Another thing we're going to do is apply geoid modeling to this project. So go into modeling and you want to check on perform geoid modeling and you want to make sure that you have a geoid file um, added here and then hit OK. OK, so the next step is bringing in the GPS data. So we're going to use the import GPS data little um, utility here. Select my input file. We see here it's the Field Genius raw file. I'm going to open this. I'm going to hit import. Okay, so here are the shots. You can see here we have the um, coordinates of our base station. Okay, and then when we hit run, you can see we have the vectors coming into the nails. And then if we just do a quick export to KML, we can see how those um, nails show up in the real world. And this is just a quick and easy little check to see how everything looks. And you can see that there they are. Those are the nails that are outside in the parking lot. And then up here on the right hand side, that's the base station. Okay, so the next part of this is bringing in the conventional data. So for this, we need to use the um, Field Genius Converter. So just go into Input, scroll down to the Field Genius Converter going to open up here. You just need to set the uh, source file location and select the file and then select the raw data file. We're going to um, select special side shot handling here. Um, I'm going to do a future video to, uh, getting more into the details of that. That's kind of a cool feature that is somewhat new to StarNet. All right and then we're going to hit import. And that brings in all of our conventional data. And now when I hit run, run the adjustment, you can see it's all tied in with the nails. If you go over here to the coordinates on the output options on the side here, you can see that these are all geographically referenced coordinates and that the elevations are all orthometrically correct. So yeah, we were able to bring in two different data sets, collect it with two different methods, in two different coordinate systems and we brought, brought it all together. So now we're going to bring that into Microsurvey CAD. Uh, first thing we have to do in MS CAD is you want to set your units, of course, and your directions. And then um, for the purpose of showcasing AutoMap uh, quickly to you guys, I want to add a customized AutoMap library here. So what this is, is a um, it's just a little file that I set up ahead of time that um, sets different colors and symbols for different points that have been picked up um, accordingly. So you can see here, I've got MH for manhole. It'll come in automatically 
um, looking like that. A nail will come in automatically looking like this triangle. Um, and then also we can set it up so it automatically connects um, the points that would be, you know, a curb. It'll automatically draw a line in that. So then when you get back to the office after you've been out in the field, or if it's someone else that's processing your data, it's going to make things a lot easier and remove a lot of the guesswork after the fact, saving you time and frustrations. So that is my auto map file. So I'm just going to make sure that's uploaded. And then uh, my coordinate system. I'm going to make sure that this is in my correct UTM zone. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in my Starnet points. Um, let me go up here under MS points, import ASCII points, coordinates delimited. Okay, okay. There we go, and we can see all of our points here. Okay, so the next thing I wanna show you guys is called uh, Field Genius Process Figures Function. So, under MS Traverse, under Field Genius Import, you wanna choose Process Field Genius Figures. Hit OK. And that's just a quick, easy way to pull the same auto map information that you had set up in your Field Genius. Okay, so just to show you guys the one last step, I'm going to do um, the Google Earth export again so you can see how it looks in there. So under MS Points, export to Google Earth. Okay. There we are, everything came in bang on. You still can see how um, the colors, and you know, this would all come in on the appropriate layers for whatever you picked up. So yeah, it looks good to me. All right, so that's it for today's video. We did some surveying with Field Genius. We brought our data into Starnet. We did an adjustment. We brought it into our microsurvey project. And, um, and yeah, you get to see what that entails. So if you guys need more information on anything that you've seen today, or if you have any questions or need some clarification, please feel free to reach out. I'm happy to answer any questions, or I can even provide you um, with some further resources if this is something that interests you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Thanks so much. Take care.